Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see an interesting case. You can see the big headline here. So today we are going to see a case of chronic liver disease with chronic calculus pancreatitis with pancreatic head mass and adjacent inflammatory lesion. A 40 years old female patient came with upper abdominal pain, vomiting and jaundice. This patient came to me at 2 a.m. midnight. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the part of liver. The parenchymal ecotexture looks coarse. And you can see the intrahepatic bile ducts are dilated. This is the gallbladder. You can see the fluid filled duodenum mimicking the gallbladder. So overall the parenchyma is coarse indicating chronic liver disease. Here you can see the pancreatic region and you can see a hypoechoic mass at the head of the pancreas region and you can also see a tiny hyperechogenic structure within lumen of the main pancreatic duct. If you look at the main pancreatic duct carefully, you can see another hyperechogenic structure and the pancreas is overall thin, hyperechogenic, irregular with multiple tiny hyperechogenic structures at the parenchyma. Here you can see the longitudinal section and this is the pancreatic head mass. We have put the color Doppler and you can see the mass is surrounded by some blood vessels. is the mass lesion here when we look at the postulateral part of the pancreatic head there is another heterogeneously hypoechoic area with surrounding fat stranding this heterogeneous hypoechoic area with fat stranding indicates it as inflammatory collection here is the magnified view and you can see this is the hypoechoic mass and you can see the ductal calculus here. The parenchyma is overall thin and echogenic and you can see tiny bits of hyperechogenic calcification within the parenchyma. Here is the picture of the liver showing the coarse hepatic parenchyma and dilated biliary tree. These are the blood vessels which are getting displaced by the mass. And this is the mass lesion at the head of the pancreas. This is the hyperechogenic stone within the main pancreatic duct casting postoacoustic shadow. And here you can see another heterogeneous hypoechoic area posterolateral to the pancreatic head mass. This area was the collection we have seen on the video. Overall, the pancreatic parenchyma is thin and echogenic, indicating the feature of chronic pancreatitis. Here is the measurement showing the hypoechoic pancreatic head mass on the right and the collection on the left. This heterogeneous collection is bounded by a thick hyperechogenic fatty area which indicates the fat stranding due to inflammatory process. Here is the magnified view and you can see the ductal calculus here. This is the pancreatic head mass and this is the dilated main pancreatic duct with luminal calculus. Here is the high frequency view of the collection and the mass. So in summary, the hepatic parenchymal ecotexture is coarse. The intrahepatic biliary tree was dilated. The pancreas is thin, irregular with ecogenic heterogeneous parenchyma with multiple tiny ecogenic foci within the parenchyma indicating parenchymal calcifications. The main pancreatic duct is dilated. At least two hyperechogenic structures casting postacoustic shadows noted within the dilated main pancreatic duct lumen. There is an irregular hypoechoic mass at the pancreatic head region. Irregular hypoechoic collection with surrounding fat stranding is noted posterolateral to the pancreatic head. So this feature suggests it as a case of chronic liver disease with chronic pancreatitis with ductal calculi with pancreatic head mass with adjacent inflammatory collection. 
Now the take home message. If you want to make the diagnosis completely, CT and MR imaging correlation will be an excellent choice in patients having multiple abnormalities of hepatobiliary system. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.